welcome to my channel. I'm Kay Allen, and here we do books. Quite a few of them, actually. Well, today's book is one I have read before, but really haven't wanted to comment on, because it brings out the tigress in me. I know, hard to believe. These is my words by Sarah Agnes Prime from the Arizona Territory, tells the story of what happens to a family when dear old daddy gets upset with his little midlife chasing the dream crisis kind of thing, sells up his very prosperous little farm where he's nice and comfortable with a rather large family of at least four or five kids. Wife loves him. Happy good life, right? No. Nice settled area with good law and all this, plenty of water, no problems. Instead, he gets wanderlust. Well, at least just the way Daddy is. So we all have to go along with it, do you? Really? Do you? Tell him to go take a business trip right when you find work. I ain't moving. <laughs> all Mama had to do was. Dig in her heels and say, uh-uh. You go off and write when you find work, sweetheart. Bye. Instead, they all pack up and go with him. And one by one, the disasters, which anybody with half a brain could have foretold. You go through a lawless area that's a desert. Banditos on one side and... Rather irate, justly so, irate Indians on the other. So, a family traveling alone, no train, no outriders, none of that. One rifle, oh lord. <laughs> Three grown men, one rifle. Yeah, smart move, Dad. Ah, anyway, obviously, it did not go well. Between lack of food, starvation, between being attacked, several times actually, um, being uh, no water for food for the horses or for them, lost their wagon, flame, you know, yeah, those bows and arrows, uh, guns, it, uh, it ended up her and two horses. And that was it. Everyone else was dead. Because daddy got won't be lost. You know, so... <sighs> Dude. I'm sorry, but as a parent, your first obligation is not to yourself. Not to some dream. Not to some greener pasture elsewhere. It's to your children. You have to ensure their well-being, their survival, their education, that whole nine yards. From that point on, you aren't important. And it goes for mothers and fathers, although father, you know, mothers have more, uh, more to do as grandmothers than grandfathers do as grandfathers, but generally speaking, of course. But however, the truth still holds. Your children come before yourself. That's all there is to it. You know, any, no, not even your obligation to God comes first. I'm sorry. And then it doesn't matter which God pick up. There's only four thousand, more than 4,200 of them. Pick one. It's a cafeteria plan. Anyway. So, this is not a book I recommend unless you really want to know how it really was in the Arizona Territories in the late 1800s, okay? It's not a pleasant read. <clears throat> and thank you for watching. Please come again.